got another package. Got another package. It's mail time. We got another package from One Size Beauty and we're going to be diving deep into the ultimate setting pool dre from One Size Beauty by Patrick Star. Hey guys, welcome in and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are completely new, hello, I'm Sincerely Nico. In today's video, we're going to be doing a review on the One Size Beauty Patrick Star Ultimate Setting Powder. I got it in the mail. I got it in the mail. I thought I wasn't going to get it, but I got it in the mail. I went out and bought them. The miniature size was I broke, but I still went and bought them. And then lo and behold, I got it in the mail. I got it in the mail. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing a review on the One Size Beauty Ultimate Setting Powder. I'm going to be trying them out on the face, both the translucent original and also the dark deep to see how it works on a dark melanated queen like myself. So here we go. We're going to see how this works on the skin, if it blurs, if it gives me what I need. But if you want to see this video or the products in performance, definitely keep on watching this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Join me here on YouTube, your part of the XO Squad. We get lit on the side of YouTube. Because of you guys, I get opportunities like this to try out brands. So please subscribe to my channel so I can continue to keep on bringing you guys some dope content for some brands that you guys are interested in, of course. Period. So let's go ahead and hop on into this video. All right, so here's the PR package from One Size Beauty. Um, again, thank you so much, Patrick, for sending me this. Again, you didn't have to send me this. <laughs> I'm so thankful and grateful. <laughs> thank you so much, One Size, for believing in me. I feel like I just want an Emmy or a Tony or an Oscar of the Beauty Awards, a streaming or something, period. I'm confused. But we're gonna dig into the ultimate setting pool dre from Patrick Starr's One Size Boote, Periate. So inside, here's what the top says. It says makeup is a one size fit all, only at Sephora and onesizebeauty.com, at onesizebeauty, at hashtag onesizebeauty. So this is where you're able to get the product. Again, Patrick is, should be in all Sephora's. He does have his own gondola. It's a one bay gondola, but I feel like he's going to be expanding his brand to be more larger than just one bay. So for right now, he has a couple of SKUs on there from the Go Off collection, which I did do a review here on my channel, and I'm gonna leave that up in eye above, to the Visionary collection, which I also did a review on that, and I will leave that up in eye above, to now the Ultimate Setting Powder. So I reviewed every collection that Patrick Starr has came out with for his particular brand, his solo brand, that is launched into Sephora. And again, like I say, support those who support you and I support Patrick and Patrick support me back by providing me with products to be able to review for you guys. So let's dive on into Patrick and the ultimate setting poudre. Now I know it's, it's spelled powder, but I like to say poudre. All right, it says, hi beautiful. Meet my one size ultimate setting poudre, the easiest way to set, bake, and blur to perfection. From the everyday set to the blendable bake, these powders deliver a flawless finish for every beauty routine. Love Patrick Star, one size beauty founder, only at Sephora and onesizebeauty.com, hashtag one size beauty. So that's that. I love this packaging. Then on the other side, it gives a little bit of breakdown of what's inside of the packaging. We have the translucent original, and then we have the, the deep setting powder, and then we have the poof right here as well too. So it says, dust it. You can use a brush to do like a slight blur moment if you don't want to really bake the face. You can set it underneath the eyes as well too and you can bake it but there's a lot of options you can do with the setting powder i'm actually going to be doing um more or less the setting and the baking portion i'm not going to do too much of the dusting motion of it because i really don't 
dust powder, loose powder on. I prefer pressed powder to be able to dust on. I'm just like Patrick. I need the coverage, the coverage. So I like to use a face powder to dust my face or to really set my foundation with. Then I like to set and bake with loose powder. So that's what's in this component here. So in the PR packaging, we get the two full size powders and also two miniature size powders in the powder puff. Um, inside what it says, it says the ultimate setting pool tray, ultra fine texture, 14 hour wear, every day set to a buildable blake, full size for the translucent original and the dark deep is $30. The travel size, which are the two miniature size here, this is what the component looks like when you guys go and pick it up at your local Sephora for the travel size. Um, I do have both light and medium, so when you're looking for the products, you're looking for the red boxes with the OS or one size in front of it, and then of course your color component is going to be on the top. I'm pretty sure the large components are the same, but I picked up the small components because they was price friendly for me and they're $16 US or $22 Canadian and then you also get the ultimate setting first flat edge super precise innovating pushing edge puff and this retails for $14 um, and that's pretty much what's inside the PR packaging we're gonna go ahead and deep dive into actually applying the product so let's go ahead and fast forward to me with nothing but foundation well, rewind. We're gonna rewind. Time lapse. We're gonna do a little time lapse to be without all this on. <laughs> this is my first time using it, and also this is a review at the same time. So, who knows? These might be really perfect to travel with me um, when COVID lets up and a girl can start going sightseeing and <laughs> sightseeing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look inside. Here's the inside of the component. It has that hard plastic stopper on the top. Then inside we have a embossed OS with the slash SD shifter. This is definitely different from a lot of brands because usually they get that little poked hole shifter. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so three of the top powders that are being constantly bought at Sephora, Fenty Beauty, of course. This is what the shifter in Fenty Beauty looks like. It has that plastic top stopper. And then it has it has the Fenty Beauty holes, or the FB is the holes where they shift out. So usually a lot of the brands do the perforated holes to shift out your powder, which typically is okay. Um, here's Laura Mercier. How This is the honey powder. As you guys can see, it has the perforated holes on the top. Like I said, nothing is wrong with the perforated holes. A lot of the brands typically use that. This is the ABH powder with the perforated holes. The difference with that in one size is that one size does not have the perforated holes on the top. It has that slash that allows you to shift out product a lot more easier to my belief. So as you guys can see, the slash is where the powder comes out. Let me do one little tip and tap test to see how much comes out from a tip and tap. So tip, tap, and back. So a good, decent general amount came out. And I didn't have to fight to really shake this product out, of course. I literally just tipped a tap. So I'm gonna take a couple more taps of this, the uh, medium deep, and I'm gonna take a couple of taps of the translucent light. I seen Shalom Black, which is one of my good friends here on this social space. She did a video using the one size powder and she mixed the two powders to be able to get that perfect balance for her under eye area. So I, I'm gonna try a mixture of both translucent and medium deep to see how that works with my complexion. Me and Shalom are not the same skin tone or complexion, but we still fall in that dark deep category. I don't want the brightness underneath my eyes to be lost with the powder and I'm pretty sure she feels the same way as well too, so that's probably why she mixed the two. So I'm gonna be mixing the two as well too, to be able to get the same effect as what Shalom got and see if it works for me. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with my sponge, blend out any demarcation, any under eye situation, and then we're gonna go ahead and get into setting the face. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the translucent light or the original translucent and I'm going to go ahead and reset the face and kind of bake and highlight the under eye area like how Shalom did. Alright, so I'm going to let this sit for a moment. I'm going to go ahead and bronze and contour and everything else that I need to do for the rest of my face real quickly and We'll be back to sweep off the bake and see how everything looks. All right, guys. So I hope you guys have your answers and everything or your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you guys do not, run down there now and type in how you guys feel about the application process of this product that I five. I want to know your guys' thoughts. I want to engage with you guys. And also, I wanted to see if you guys had similarities as thoughts as, as I did when I was applying this powder on. So let's go ahead and jump on into the review. Personal thoughts of this powder. I'm gonna break it down into, I wanna say, I wanna look at the functionality of the product, uh, the component or the packaging of the product, and then also the finished results of what it's supposed to do. So the functionality of the product is that, does it set the face? Yes, it definitely does set the face. As you guys can see, it gives me a nice, soft, blurred, moment i think that the powder is it gets the job done it it locked in everything and it does have a claim of 14 hour wear when it comes down to using this particular powder compared to a lot of other brands maybe give or take i don't know what the claims are for that but that's what it pretty much said it says it has a 14 hour wear time i know patrick does and dibble dabbles into drag makeup so he needs something to stick and stay and i'm pretty sure this powder sticks and stay through all of the hustle and bustle. So does the powder function the way it's supposed to function, which is setting the face? Yes, it functions that way. Now the component, my thoughts of the component, packaging itself, sickening. Eye appealing, sickening. Shifter, sickening. Like the container, being that it's, it's like frosted glass, but it's plastic, sickening. It gives luxury, it gives luxe. So that's a yes for me. And then of course, the, the formula of what it really is supposed to do, which is really blur the skin. My under eye area is blurred, baby. I think this is a really good powder. The only bad thing I will say about this powder is that there is nothing in between to give the girls that yellow moment. If you, if you get what I'm saying, like the, I don't really want to, I guess I have no choice, but like the Laura Mercier Honey was created to give the girls that middle color between medium deep and translucent reg, regular. Um, of course, Fenty came out the gate with like eight setting powders, so I really can't compare anything to Fenty or say anything about Fenty as far as bring it out product so I'm hoping that if Patrick or the one size team see this that the yellow powder is is really is really is really needed in this industry so if you guys can just come out with a yellow powder or a banana or even a honey shade powder she's gonna literally snatch the girl's wigs she's gonna give Miss Laura Mercier a run for her money I had to mix the two shades together like how Shalom Black did to be able to get the under eye to look like this. Now if I were to, to come out the gate with a yellow powder, it's probably going to be a lot brighter, which I do know how to tone bright down, uh, brightness down when it comes down to setting my under eye. But for this one, I really didn't have to brighten it up per se. I kind of left it as is, but I did go back in with the translucent original color just to kind of give it that extra snatch underneath my eyes, like how Shalom did in her IGTV video. I'm gonna leave Shalom IGTV video linked down below so you guys can check that out as well too, so you guys can kind of see what I referenced to kind of 
you get the idea of creating this video. Um, if if I didn't get it in PR, would I purchased it? Hello, purchased it, of course. But if I wasn't buying it to review it, and if I needed to buy a setting powder because I was out, would I purchase this product? For those who are in my color scheme or color range, if you are setting the face, the medium, the dark deep is perfect to set the face. It's perfect to set the face. And I feel like if we had a shade in between these two to set it under eye, then yes. Um, I'm not too much into the whole translucent white. That's just me, but mixing the two together gave me what I needed. And I will be using these products in the near future. So you will be seeing these pop up on my channel in the near future. All right, guys. So that pretty much completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed me trying out the One Size Beauty setting powder products. If you guys did, give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you guys made it this far and you love the way I do my content. I come out with new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Uh, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can always check me out here. I'm going to go ahead and hop off of here, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye.